In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a simple rainbow crystal chakra balance, which is a suitable technique even for beginners. You will need a range of tumble stones in each color of the rainbow, plus a couple of black or brown stones for grounding, such as tiger's eye or hematite. Make sure that you have cleansed all of your crystals before you start and that you have grounded yourself. I'm going to begin by grounding my client using the hematite crystals beneath her feet. This will help her remain energetically safe through the treatment and will also help to fix any adjustments I make to her chakras. Now I'm going to work through the chakras in the sequence of rainbow colours, starting at the base chakra with red, and in this case I'm using red jaspers. I'm placing one either side of her base chakra as the base chakra is located at the perineum, a very personal place to put crystals. Either side is fine. Now I'm going to work up the midline of the body, placing an orange carnelian on the sacral chakra, about midway between navel and the, the base chakra. And next I'm using a honey calcite on the solar plexus chakra, which is just beneath the rib cage. For the heart chakra, I've chosen a green amazonite crystal and I'm placing that in the centre of the chest. And for the throat chakra, I'm using a blue lace agate, which is a very soothing crystal. For my client's brow chakra, I've chosen an iolite crystal, which is a deep blue violet colour. And finally, for her crown chakra, I'm using a clear optical calcite. You could also use violet or golden coloured crystals here. I'm stepping back to check that I'm happy with the placements. And this is the time to make any adjustments if needed. Now I'm going to let the crystals do their work. The crystals need to stay in place for between 5 to 10 minutes. When it's time to remove them, I start from the crown chakra and I work my way down, keeping these crystals separate from the ones in my collection until after I've cleansed them. I'll also be able to show my clients which crystals I used in her treatment. I leave the grounding stones until last. When all the crystals have been removed, I'll be helping my client to sit up and I'll offer her a glass of water. If she feels at all lightheaded, I'll give her a couple of grounding stones to hold while she comes round. <laughs> 